Hi everyone, I'm Kate Bonnie, and welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we are talking about animal shelters in Alabama. As many of you know, I volunteer to groom animals at the Bibb County Animal Shelter. You are most likely viewing this video because you want to help. So here is the obligatory like, subscribe, comment, and share request. While I absolutely do appreciate your support of my channel, that is not my focus today. Alabama state law requires all counties to provide an animal control facility and one impound officer to assist law enforcement in prosecuting abuse and neglect cases, pick up and impound animals found roaming at large in the county, and house those animals. However, no provisions within the law provide for funding these facilities. Each county must find funding for their own facilities. The larger counties with high populations and larger tax bases are able to meet the basic needs of these animals, but rural counties with fewer people and small tax bases struggle to meet those needs. This is true of all rural counties in Alabama, not just BIP. I absolutely do not want anyone laying hate at the feet of the county commissions. When there are limited funds for all county services and the commission has to choose between maintaining roads so school buses can safely transport children to and from school without getting stuck, or providing veterinary care to injured unwanted animals, the roads are going to get fixed and children protected first. When a county has to choose between replacing aged equipment at the sewage treatment plant or water purification facility in order to protect the health of all of the residents or feed animals at the county shelter, the human needs will come first. It is simply the harsh reality of too much to do and not enough money to do it with. The county commissions are able to construct and maintain the buildings, pay the utility bills, and purchase necessary equipment, but there are simply not enough tax dollars to provide much beyond that. Thus, these rural shelters rely heavily on donations from the general public to supply food, veterinary care, and basic comfort to the resident animals. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Bibb County Animal Shelter located at 134 Bibb Lane in Brent, Alabama. It is conveniently located between the Bibb County Jail and State Prison. It is open to the public from 1 to 5 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays for adoptions. It is staffed by one impound officer and one kennel worker who feed the animals and clean the pens daily. They are also responsible for picking up animals that run at large in the county and confiscating abused and neglected animals. They are county employees, so there are times when they are expected to perform other duties for the county. Thus, the animals may only see a human three to four hours each day for feeding and cleaning. The shelter can hold roughly 40 dogs and 20 cats. The shelter may have as few as 20 residents one day and be filled to capacity within a week. Since the law requires them to pick up at-large animals and hold them for at least one week to allow owners time to step forward and claim them, aggressive, sick, and injured animals will be euthanized to make room for new intakes. Animals that have been at the shelter for more than one week, unless on a court-ordered hold for evidence in criminal cases, may also be euthanized during times of overcrowding. Sadly, there are times of high population when animals are euthanized because there simply isn't enough food available for all of them, and there is no more money to buy food. This is where your help is so greatly needed and appreciated. The Bibb County Animal Shelter is currently supported by individual volunteers and donors. These are people like me that try to provide comfort to the animals, find rescues that can take them, and forever homes. They spend their personal money to transport animals to rescues or otherwise arrange transportation. They spend their personal funds to buy food for the animals. And sometimes they do ask other people for financial help. We would love to organize a legal 501c3 group, but when we are faced with paying for an attorney and fees associated with that or buying 50 pound bags of dog food to keep the dogs fed so they can live a little longer, we are absolutely going to feed the dogs. So if you are an attorney in the state of Alabama and would be willing to help us organize pro bono, please reach out to me. For everyone else, there are three ways you can help. First, we have a Walmart registry that is updated twice a month. 
go to www.walmart.com. Go to the Services tab. Scroll down to Registries, Lists, and Gifts. Then, click on Registries. When that page loads, scroll down to Find a Registry. Choose any occasion from the Type of Registry drop-down menu. Under Event Name, type Bib Co. Al Shelter, and then choose Alabama under State. Finally, click on Find a Registry. You can choose any item on this list, and it will ship directly to the Bibb County Animal Shelter. The majority of the items on the list qualify for free shipping for w members. There is a designated secure delivery area for when the gate is locked. Let's face it, the shelter is located between the county jail and the state prison. It is monitored 24-7. Only a true idiot would even think about trying to steal their deliveries. The second way you can help is to call the Veterinary Hospital of Centerville and offer to pay towards the shelter account. The account is listed as the Friends of Bibb County Shelter. Dr. Bolding and his staff provide services for the injured and sick shelter animals on account. They will never turn away an injured shelter animal just because the account has a balance, and the account currently has a balance. Finally, you can send donations directly to my PayPal account via katebonnie20 at gmail.com. Yes, I am asking you to trust me with your money and see that it goes to the cause. I am honored and humbled by the trust people have placed in me to do this. Since I do receive money for my business through this PayPal account, please make sure to include a note stating that these funds are to go towards helping the animals. If you are not a Walmart Plus member and want to save the shipping fees, just tell me what you want me to buy with it. I will go to Walmart or the local feed and seed to get it and take it to the shelter on my next visit. Thank you so much for helping these animals and supporting my channel. This channel is not possible without your support and these animals depend on you.